good. Oh! Oh! Sorry about that, Willard. Oh, this reminds me of when you were a teenager. You were never without your guitar, and you played quite well. I'm afraid I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> But being here in Seville, Spain, with a, a Spanish guitar should have me playing flamenco music in no time. Or maybe not. I was just reading some bad news. The Scorpion Gang has struck again. They've been robbing banks all over Seville. Now, Auntie, we agree. No mysteries. We haven't come to sunny Spain to solve crimes. We've come for the Flamenco Festival tomorrow. That's right, Willard. And to see a very dear old friend, Spain's most famous artist and guardian of the poor, El Daco! Hola, my dear Marjorie. Why, you look even lovelier than when I saw you last. <laughs> Good to see you again, El Daco. But tell me, why are you wearing your disguise here in your hometown? To avoid recognition for all his good works, El Duco keeps his true identity a secret from everyone. Yes, even from you, Marjorie. That's true. But you know, I love a good mystery. So long as that's the only mystery on this holiday. Hmm? Saved our lives. I am forever in your debt. Oh, your poor guitar. Oh, thank you for sacrificing it. Oh, it was nothing, really. I'm just glad no one was hurt. Oh, sweet Marjorie. I feel terrible that you might have been hurt. That statue was a warning. For me, not you. Whatever do you mean? Yesterday, one of my paintings was stolen right out of a locked room in my art dealer's home. He was to be auctioned to raise money for a duckling hospital. I believe the Foley statue is the thief's way of telling me to forget all about my painting and the duckling's hospital. But our lives were put in danger. No, we must get to the bottom of this. And we must get that painting back. Take us to the scene of the crime at once. There goes our sunny vacation in Spain. Looks like we've got a mystery to solve after all. But the police have already been here, El Doco. I don't see what good your friends can do. Signora Galena, Miss Mallard is a world-famous detective. Nothing escapes her. And her nephew Willard is an inspector in the Swiss police. Very well. But I hope this won't take long. I was about to leave on my daily errands. Come along. The gallery is this way. How very odd that in a room full of valuable art, only El Duco's painting was stolen. As you can see, the painting was stolen right off the stretchers and out of its frame. Ah, oh, it was called the Flamenco Dancers. It was one of your best works, El Duco. I'm sure it would have fetched quite a high price at auction. How do you suppose the robber got into the gallery? There is no way in without a key. The door is always locked, and there are bars on the window. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the Great Canadian Rockies. That's mine. I I'm uh, uh, planning a trip to visit relatives in Canada. I don't know you have family there. Uh, Senora, do you have the only set of keys to your house in the gallery? My assistant, Carmen, has two other sets. She keeps one in her purse and one at her apartment for emergencies. Carmen and her father, Manuel, are a world-famous flamenco dancer and guitarist duo. Not Manuel Pato, the legendary Spanish guitarist? I have all his CDs. I'm afraid Manuel's recording days are likely over. He's been unable to play since he hurt his back. What a tragedy. Since Carmen couldn't bear to dance without him, she needed to find another job. I asked the Signora to hire her as her assistant. That was very kind of you, Signora Galina. Yes, well, I'm beginning to think it was a big mistake. How can you say that? Carmen is a fine person. She is completely trustworthy. So I thought. But she was the only one alone in the gallery yesterday while I was out seeing clients. Uh, what time was that, Signora? 
It was in the afternoon, between three and four. The same time I go out every day to see clients. Wow! A Dacalona guitar! I've always wanted one of those. Take it if you like. Playing used to be my hobby, but I never have time for it now. Really? How generous! It may need a bit of uh, tuning. How very interesting. It is time we paid Carmen and Manuel a visit. Since there were no signs of a break-in, the thief had to have a key. That does make Carmen look bad, but I can't believe she would do such a thing. A real Dacalona guitar! This is sure to make my music sound great. But there's something... Brave Doc Willard. It's a shame about your guitar. Oh, it's all in the line of duty. I guess. Were you able to see anyone, Willard? I caught a glimpse of a duck in dark glasses escaping from a private garden on the other side of the wall. It seems someone does not want us to solve this case. That, or they don't want me to play the guitar. This is the second one they've ruined. Come, we should hurry to Carmen's before something else happens. The great Manuel Pato. I have all your CDs. I've got Flamenco's Greatest Hits, Flamenco Fiesta, even Flamenco Fever. Ah, oh, yes. I'd give anything to play like that again. If only the slip disc in my back didn't make it too painful to play. Here are all my extra keys. Red for the Senora's front door, yellow for my home, and blue for the gallery door. Very clever, Carmen. You use the colors to tell them apart. Carmen, tell me everything you did yesterday from the time you went to work. Well, it was an ordinary afternoon. I worked on the accounts while the senora went out to visit clients. Were you there the entire time she was gone? No. The senora called and sent me to pick up a sketchbook from El Daco's studio. But when I got there, he was not home, so I left a note and hurried back. That's true. I got your note later. It is odd that Signora Galina never told me to expect you. What's even more odd is that when I got back, she said she never called me. That is odd. Did anything else unusual happen? There was one other strange thing. When I set out for El Daco's, I saw an accordion player outside the Signora's house. I had seen him playing there the past few days. When I returned from my errand, he was still there. But when he saw me, he ran away. Then Signora Galina arrived, and I have to carry her books inside. I didn't get a good look at him, but I do remember he was wearing dark glasses, which seemed strange because it was not a sunny day. Dark glasses? That sounds like the duck who pushed the pots. That sounds like the same musician Lupe and I passed in the street yesterday. That kind-hearted Lupe gave him several pesetas. Oh, who is Lupe? Hola, Manuel. It's Lupe. Oh, I didn't know you had company. Hola, Lupe. Lupe is our neighbor and a wonderful friend. She takes me padre out to tea and movies. Oh, since I retired from nursing at our Dock of Mercy Hospital, I have lots of free time. And the movies let me rest my old bones. Where are my manners? Please sit down and let me take that heavy bag for you. <laughs> no! Uh, I mean, I'm not staying. I'm just picking up Manuel. Oops! Clumsy me! Long, Manuel. We don't want to be late for the movie. <laughs> hey, I hope I don't fall asleep and miss all the good parts like yesterday. Poor Padre. He's been doing that a lot lately. Oh, 
Miss Mallard, I forgot all about this until now. The accordion player dropped it when he ran away. Five little ducks. That's sheet music. May I have a closer look, Auntie? I know this song. If I had my guitar, I could play it for you. Good work, Willard. You found a clue. I have? If you hadn't held up the sheet music, I might never have noticed this writing. Look, it's an address. 22 Calais de las Plumas. That's Senora Galina's address. And there's a drawing of some kind. A scorpion. El Duco, I believe your painting was stolen by the notorious gang of thieves called the Scorpions. I have heard of them. They have been robbing banks all over town. But what would they want with my painting? I don't know yet, but I do know that duck in dark glasses has something to do with it. Judging from this photo of the gang's last bank robbery, that duck is no doubt a scorpion. Caramba! That duck is in my painting. I drew him in one of my preliminary sketches. I must see this sketch right away. Willard, we've got a mystery to solve. But, Auntie, it's a troubadour 2000. I didn't even know they were on the market yet. It's the very latest in classical guitar technology. We'll come back later, Willard. Right now, we've got to see that sketch. You have to have that guitar. I just know I'll be able to play great once I get it. <laughs> You know, Willard, you should put a little less faith in the guitar and more in the guitarist. It's only an instrument, just like an artist's brushes are mere tools to portray what he sees. <sighs> Work of the Scorpions. I would presume they were looking for the same thing we are. And obviously none of the villains knew what their sketchbook looks like. These are sketches of the flamenco dance studio across the street. Look, there he is. I was sketching it from my balcony, and when that duck appeared, I sketched him too. He saw me and I waved, then he ducked back inside, and I didn't see him again. That's definitely the duck that attacked us with the clay pots. He probably hurled that statue at us too. El Duco. Not only have you sketched one of the scorpions, you sketched and painted their hideout. That's why they stole your painting. You're right, Auntie. If that painting had been sold at a public auction, both the scorpions and their hideout would have been discovered. Well done, Marjorie. You have solved the mystery. Not yet. First, I've got to get inside that building and prove my theory. No! It is much too dangerous. I will go. But you can't. The scorpions have seen you and know where you live. Don't worry. Willard will be with me. Right, Willard? What? Oh, uh, yeah, of course, Auntie. You stay here and keep watch, El Ducco. We'll signal you if there's trouble. Come along, Willard. It's time we bought you a new guitar. I don't know about this, Auntie. With these disguises, we can get into the building unnoticed. Here, maybe this will put you in the mood. We've got to get to work. Ole! Someone's coming! Oh, uh, but, um... You got Rubenar! Play! <laughs> you can do it, Willard. Working out better than I thought. Olay! Keep playing, Willard. Uh, keep the dancing. I have an idea.
What sold that racket? Fernando, send those ducks away. This isn't a fiesta. Back to business. I've just spoken to our leader. Our orders are to rob the Banco Grande in exactly one hour. <laughs> Who's out there? Oh no! My beloved Marjorie is in great danger! I must save her! This is most inconvenient! Never fear! El Taco is here! El Taco! Come on, come on! El Taco, you saved me! But we must stop those scorpions from getting away! Done! I've called the police and they are on their way. Well, well, what have we here? I'm sorry I couldn't come to your rescue, Auntie, but I couldn't get away from those flamenco dancers. They all wanted my autograph. I guess the Troubadour 2000 is the guitar for me after all. Those dancers sure love my music. Willard, maybe they loved your music because you played it with such passion. This city owes you a great debt for bringing those scorpions to justice. We've captured all of them except their elusive leader. I think we can help you with that, too. May I use your cell phone, please? Thank you all for coming. I've gathered you here to reveal the identity of the leader of the Scorpions. What? Really? The Scorpions? What does this have to do with me? The Scorpions' leader is the same duck who stole El Ducco's painting. And it's someone in this very room. <gasps> I, I want to lie down. I'm not well. I fell asleep in the movies again today. Don't worry, Manuel. I promise to be brief. You are all wondering who stole the painting. At first, I thought it was the duck in dark glasses who was playing the accordion outside the gallery. He spent days watching the Senora's house to figure out her schedule so the gang knew when to break in. But the real thief was the duck who phoned Carmen and sent her on a fake errand. How dare you accuse me? I did not make that phone call. Carmen's lying. I am not. I heard you with my own ears. Calm down, please. You are both right, as I will reveal. It's true that you didn't make the call, Signora, but your plans for an overseas trip did make you seem suspicious. I lied about the trip. It's not for me. It's really a birthday surprise for El Docco. He's always dreamed of painting the Canadian Rockies. A trip for me? I wasn't visiting clients. I was really out buying you books for the trip. I know. I wrote down the name of the bookstore and contacted them. They confirmed you had indeed gone there the day the painting was stolen, which eliminated you as a suspect, Signora Galina. <sighs> well, then, who made the phone call? The phone call was a fake. But it was made by a female duck. And that duck is none other than Lupe. Huh? My guess is that she only started to visit with Manuel after Carmen started working at the gallery. That's true. I first became suspicious of you when Willard so gallantly tried to relieve you of your heavy shoulder bag. And you so adamantly refused. Then, when you replaced each set of keys in its rightful place on the rack, it became clear that you were extremely familiar with them. Lupe had access to the emergency keys in Carmen's apartment, and when she picked Manuel up, she took them right off the rack. She put something in his key to make him sleep through the movies. She needed Manuel as her alibi so she could make the calls to her gang to give them instructions. That is why she took him out on the day of the robbery and all the other days in order to maintain an alibi. How can you tell such horrible lies? I've spent my whole life helping people. I am a respected nurse. Not according to our Duck of Mercy Hospital. When I spoke to them, they said they'd never heard of you. I think the chief of police will find all the evidence she needs in Lupe's shoulder bag. Huh? Oh, yes. Stop her, somebody! <laughs> hey, it's Red Rosa the Horrible. 
She's wanted for robberies in seven countries. And look what was in her bag. El Daco's painting and a box of dozy duck tea. That must be what she used to make Manuel so sleepy. Who would have suspected a retired nurse of being the leader of the Scorpions? A near-perfect disguise. Mi padre! My back! It's better! The disc must have slipped back into place! Oh! This calls for a celebration! Willem, will you play a song with me? Oh, I don't think I'd be any good without the Troubadour 2000. Willard, remember what El Ducco said to you. The music is not inside the guitar. It is inside you. In the same way an artist brushes on mere tools to portray what he sees. Play with your heart. I guess it really was me and not the guitars all alone. This is a wonderful prelude to tomorrow's flamenco festival. And you look so beautiful in your flamenco costume. May I have this dance, my dear Marjorie? Um, has anybody got another guitar? <laughs>